Okay, RuneScape. I'm going to jump right into this. And, uh, Barbarian Assault, the game that we all forgot about, unless we, like, lost our fighter torso and just randomly remembered it again, has gotten updated. And you're going to be wanting to play it again. So, like, okay, take this Mountain Dew bottle, for instance. Okay, the amount of Mountain Dew that's in there right now... Yeah, that's Barbarian Assault before the update, and, okay, say if this was, like, totally full, okay? Say if this is totally full now. That's Barbarian Assault now, and that's its epicness level. Epicness level. That's it right there. Okay? Now, think, just, okay, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into telling you about these updates and everything, but there's gonna be so many more people going to Barbarian Assault now. They thought of that shit. They... Enlarge the waiting rooms. Like, they made them... Okay, say if they're like this, they're like... Pfft, now. They're like... Pfft, I don't know how to make it really that big, because, like, all YouTube video sizes are all the same, and I'm just like... That's big. Um, okay. But now I'm gonna tell you about these new items. Okay? They got a penis horn out. Now, I'm not sure exactly, like, if it disappears, like... But it's kind of like a stealing creation item. Um... Oh, yeah, by the way, you can switch back over to RuneScape because it's just going to be me talking and, like, moving my hands really quick. And pretty much I just do these updates so y'all can listen to them and not have to read them. And I'm just like, I have to read them and do all this other crap. But anyways, new Penis Horn. Double, exper <laughs> Double experience in agility, cooking, and mining. Um, they got Penis Trident. That's a new weapon. They got Penis Gloves. Alright, now, the penis gloves, they took them, and they were like, okay, these don't reduce enough weight, and people like to, uh, you know, be light, I guess, and, um, it reduces more weight. Uh, they got wave tickets, it's like a new system of remembering what wave you're on. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. Again. Uh, they got penis armor now, uh, it restores your prayer, it's like a prayer restoring set bonus, um, also, they updated a lot of Barbarian stuff, like the blue eggs in Barbarian Assault now, what they do, like, they used to stun the Penis Runners and Penis whatever, it was not dead, um, now, they, like, reduce the stats of the Penis, pe the Penis things that you shoot them at, and it also damages them, so it's like, it's like a massive better red egg. I guess they realized, oh, the stun kind of sucks. So, I mean, that's good. That's that's an awesome update right there. Um, like I said, the waiting rooms got bigger, and, like, they now have high scores for Barbarian Assault now. So, like, it, uh, I guess, um, their, their healer levels, and, uh, their attacker, you know, all those roles, all the roles they have high scores for now. So, yeah. Um, also, you can go to Commander Conad. Commander Conad. Conad. I don't know. I don't. I don't really understand how to pronounce most of these words that's put in the game. But it's the last name of the commander, and you can go talk to him. Uh, use the games necklace to teleport there, and he will tell you about all this new stuff in Barbarian Outpost. Um, now, in other news, like they're updating the whip color, like. Uh, uh, like, I already told someone about this update, and they were confused on what I meant. Like, it won't be, like, a different whip color for, like, kind of like the party hats, but they're just updating it again. Um, so right when we get used to it, they change it on us again. So, I would advise for you to invest in whips if, if you wanted to make an investment option, if the whip looks cool, that is. There's always a, you know, there are, there's already a few people that are investing in whips, um, I'm sure, because every time they update something, like an item or something, it goes up. So, you just want to invest in that for, like, two or three days until you realize, oh, this really isn't cool, I'm, I'm not keeping this shit. Um, okay, they also, um, remade the dwarves, like, little chat box faces that talk to you. Uh, the Soul Wars cape can be stored in your POH now, if you have one, um, from completing the Nomad's Requiem quest. <coughs> your, <coughs> um, your activity special bar, like, it, it will no longer interfere with the autocast timing system that they have set up. Uh, players that try to banish players, like, 
in Soul Wars when they try to banish them and uh, they have full health. Now, they will not gain activity points. Um, and, of course, they got rid of the snow in, uh, in RuneScape, you know, because some stuck or something, you know, iced over or some crazy shit. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to have all this information in my description bar, along with the person's uh, YouTube that gave me all this information before it actually came out. Oh, I don't want to say that. Um, the, the person with awesome YouTube videos. Yeah, check her out. Her name is Cherry Bomb 04. Newest video fucking rocks. Uh, yeah, make sure to watch that. And, um, yeah, just tons of links, tons of fucking uh, quick find codes for RuneScape forums and all this shit. Along with a really funny, funny ass quick find code, uh, someone in the rants forum that my friend had told me about. Just check all this out. And uh, I thank you all so much for watching these videos. And I hope to, uh, to y'all that you see me next time. For another crazy What's Up With RS video. Oh, yeah, make sure to rate, fave, and do all that other shit that y'all decide to do. Later! Oh, yeah, by the way, everybody that watches my videos, Red Bull, not crack. Mmm.